Welcome to another episode of The Not Cook. On this episode, we're making Not Cook's Chicken Rice. This is what you're going to need. Rice. You're also going to need some pepper. You'll need some Creole seasoning. Or you can use um, seasoned salt as well. Or you can use garlic salt or really any kind of seasoning or flavoring you want. Chicken broth. I get the fat free. You don't have to get the fat free. Just make sure the box you get is 32 ounces. Also, I have a can of chicken. You can use a can of tuna or any other kind of canned meat or even fresh meat that you want. That's added at the last step. You might also want some cheese. Could use shredded cheese or Parmesan cheese, and that's to taste for when it's done. You kind of put it on top and sprinkle it on. Now, part of being a not cook is to buy gadgets that help you not cook. I have here a rice cooker, and this happens to be from the Pampered Chef. It's the only thing I've ever purchased from them, but I love it. And this is very easy to use. Most rice cookers are used the same way, or you can also just go ahead and cook it on the stove. But since that's cooking, when we're the not cook, we're not going to do it that way. So this is how you do it. Get your rice, and since you're using a 32 ounce box of chicken broth, that's four cups. Rice is always measured half of your liquid. So since I'm using two, four liquid cups, I'm going to use two dry cups of rice. There's a difference between liquid cups and dry cups. Liquid cups are yet generally measured in a measuring cup. And that looks like these. Dry cups are usually measured in things that look like this or things that look like these. You can get these for two bucks at the store and it's all the different sizes like half cup, full cup, things like that. So since I'm using four cups of liquid I'm going to use two dry cups of rice and these are a third cup so I'm going to have six, one, two, three, see how they're kind of flat? I don't want them overflowing, I want them kind of flat. Four, five, and six. Okay. Now, before I actually put my broth in here, I'm going to rinse the rice. That's a pretty important step. What that does is allows you to rinse off most of the starch. See how that's becoming milky? Well, that's just tap water, cold, not hot. And I'm just kind of mixing the rice around in my hand. And see how the water is turning milky? That's the starch coming off the water, coming off the rice into the water. Drain carefully. I'm just putting my hand here. If any rice does come out, it comes into my hand, not in the sink. And it doesn't really have to be all that specific either. You got most of the starch off, that's all you really wanted. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's rinsed. Doesn't look any different other than wet. Now we're going to add our broth. I'm working with one hand here. And just pour it right in. The 
whole box. Very easy. Okay. And that's how it looks. Now, uh, this part is generally really up to a matter of taste. I generally add some pepper. Quite a fair amount. Some of the Creole seasoning, or you can use uh, seasoned salt, or any other, if you want to put in like Italian seasoning, or basil, or oregano, or marjoram, or whatever spice you happen to want in there, you can add that at this point. Okay, so that's our spices. This is the top of the lid. Pepper. <laughs> okay, that's to prevent the uh, starch from, excuse me, um, coming up out of the top of the pan. Put that on top, snap the lid closed. Oh, that pepper gets me every time. Okay, now I've got it in the microwave. We're just going to set it kind of on the side of the rotating plate there. Kind of widen that out a little bit. There we go. Now, we're going to set it to five minutes on, high, on the highest setting, which is generally the default setting. Now, when that five minutes is over, we're going to come back and we're going to set it to 15 minutes on 60% temperature. So, we'll come back uh, when that's ready. Okay, so our five minutes on high is over. We're just going to leave it in there. We're not going to open it up or anything. And we're going to now put it on for 15 minutes on 60% heat. On my microwave, we time cook 15 minutes at a power level of 6. That's 60%. And that's it. Wait for 15 minutes and we'll be back for the finish. So it's been 15 minutes, and we're just going to pull this right out. Now here's where the chicken, or the tuna, or the beef, or whatever meat you're going to put in. Um, a little note here, if you're going to be using chicken broth, you're going to want to be using some form of poultry in the rice. If you want to use beef, um, you can use beef broth, um, or any kind of stock. But uh, since this is the chicken version, I'm using chicken. Now, I've opened up this can of chicken, and I'm going to drain it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to get most of the water out. That's about right. grab a fork and I'm just gonna use a twisting motion with the fork just chop up this, this chicken in the can you only want one bowl for this that's good like I said it doesn't have to be perfect now be careful this is gonna be hot I've already popped the, the side tabs Okay, you'll see our pepper and our spices down in there and how the rice isn't white, it's kind of a brown, that's because of the broth. Now, you'll also notice that my chicken is not warmed up, it just came out of the can. So when you put it in, you're going to want to stir it down into the rice, which is still really hot and not quite done yet. Once that's done, we're just going to put the lid right back on it, and we're going to let it sit for another mm, 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll be back. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes or so. Rice retains heat. It'll stay warm for a long time. Take a spoonful. That's 
about a cup. I tend to add some butter and some cheese. And that's how you make chicken rice.